This intersection is still closed right now, as it has been since about 2 o'clock this afternoon. But beyond this crime scene tape, the suspect is still deceased in his car, not from a shot from officers, but from his own hand. This afternoon, the U.S. Marshals Violent Offender Task Force was tracking the suspect wanted on a felony warrant. Officials say he has a violent past and a history of running from officers, and today would be no different. He was spotted not far from here, and so began a brief car chase. As they neared 68th Street and McDowell, the marshals used a pit maneuver to spin the suspect's car out. A a source high up in law enforcement tells us the suspect had previously told his parole officer he did not plan on going back to jail. As a vehicle was coming to a stop, a witness in the suspect's vehicle witnessed the suspect put a gun to his head and commit suicide. There are no members of the task force fired their firearms at the vehicle or any persons related to this incident. And no law enforcement officials were hurt in this uh, incident tonight. They are still out here investigating. They have not released the suspect's name yet. Lauren Reimer for Arizona's Family.